In this video, we're going to learn about all the brand new features of Angular 17.2. We're going to be learning about the new View Child, View Children, Content Child and Content Children, signal-based alternatives to the decorators of the same name. We are going to learn why these decorators make the existing lifecycle hooks after content init and after view init no longer necessary. And we are also going to be covering the new model API that allows us to do bidirectional data binding in a signal-based approach. So without further ado, let's get started learning about Angular 17.2. Welcome back to the Angular University channel, I'm Vasco. So let's then talk about the new alternative to the ViewChild decorator. As you know, ViewChild allows you to grab a reference to a child element in your template. So in this case here, for example, we have here a signal counter component and we want a reference to it here in our parent component. Now, the parent component can query its own template and grab here a reference to an instance of signal counter in the following way by using the view child decorator. So this is the existing way of doing this template query. For accessing here the counter variable, it's often useful to use after view init. So this lifecycle hook is going to get called only when all the view children have been initialized. Now, if you check this in action here with the dev tools, you can see that when I access this component, the signals demo component, and let me clear here the console, when I access here signals demo via the router, we can see that the counter component is getting printed out here to the console as expected. Now, let's replace this by its new signal based equivalent version. All right, so I'm going to remove the use of the view child decorator and I'm going to remove the use of the after view init lifecycle hook. This is no longer going to be necessary. All right, let me go ahead and let me clear this out. And now let me reimplement this using the signal based alternative. So here is now the same code, but this time around using the signal based alternative. We are using here the view child signal based query instead of the decorator. And as you can see, the API is very similar. We can also see that the use of the after view init lifecycle hook has been replaced by the use of a simple signal effect. So just like in a previous video, we have shown how to replace ng on changes with a signal based approach. Here, it's the same thing. The effect API can be used for all these cases. Just to confirm that this is working correctly, let's go ahead and let's turn on here the dev tools. Let's switch here again to the component. And as you can see, when I move into this signal demo component, the counter component is still being logged here to the console as expected. Now notice the important difference that counter is no longer an instance of counter component. Instead, counter is a signal of counter component. So it's a signal that emits values and those values are an instance of counter component. So we can see that this is just like any other regular Angular signal. You can use anything in the signal API in order to uh, interact with it. You can use the computed API to compute derived signals and you can also use effects as we have done here in order to be notified when new values are emitted. So it's just a regular signal, just like any other. Now you are probably wondering what about all the typical options of the view child decorator? Well, these are also present in its uh, signal based alternative. You have here an options object that you can pass in. You can pass in here the read property, just like the standard view child decorator. You can also um, query the view using here template variables. So I have here a counter template variable. I can pass in here the name of the variable and this would give me the exact same result. And also if you want to make this view child property required, then you can do so using view child dot required. So this API is very similar to the API of signal inputs. If you want to make one of these uh, signal based uh, alternatives of traditional Angular functionality required, then we just use this dot required API and it works 
exactly like its decorator counterpart. So no surprises here. And let's go ahead and let's cover one more decorator, the View Children decorator. So let's say that, for example, I have here several signal counters. I'm going to remove here the template variables, all right? And now I want to inject them all here in the component as an array. So these are now the counters. We need, of course, here the view children query. All right, let's pass in here the name of the signal counter component. So here is the counter component. And here, let's go ahead and let's print out here the array of counters. So if I now try this out, we're going to see that here in the console, we're going to get an array with three elements, each of the counter components as expected. So as you can see, these signal based alternatives to the decorators are very simple and intuitive to understand. They seem a little bit less magical because there is not the notion of a decorator involved. I prefer these ones much better. Now, we also have here the content child and content children signal based alternatives to the corresponding decorators. These work exactly in the same way as view child and view children. So I'm not going to do a demo of them in this concrete video. Instead, let's focus on the new model API for doing bidirectional data binding with a signal based approach. If you remember the traditional bidirectional data binding ng model based syntax, so I'm talking about this traditional bananas in a box syntax with the square brackets outside and the round brackets inside. So this is the traditional Angular syntax for bidirectional data binding. This can now be made with a signal based approach. So how does this work? Let's have a look here at the signal counter implementation. So as you can see, we are just receiving here a signal, which is the counter itself. And whenever we click here, on the button, we increment the value of the counter. And if you scroll down, we are going to see that this count signal is being implemented the new module API. So if we check here the type of this variable, we can see with, for example, Control Shift P or just like that, we can see that this is a model signal. So this is a writable signal, as we can see here on the implementation of the increment method that has the traditional set and update methods in any signal in order to change the value here of this model. Now, because this is the model API, this allows us to do bidirectional data binding from the point of view of the parent component. So if I go back here to the parent component, we can see that we can now apply this syntax to the count property and we keep here the parent counter variable in sync with the counter variable from inside the signals counter automatically. So this synchronization is being done automatically via this bidirectional data binding mechanism. So if I try this out here in the signals page and I start incrementing here, so this part here corresponds to the signal counter. So whenever I increment it, it's going to increment the counter value inside here signal counter as expected. But notice that the parent counter here, this variable in the parent component is also being kept in sync with the corresponding count model inside signal counter. And remember that the binding goes two ways. So if I initialize this with 100, then the counter value inside signal counter is going to be initialized with the value 100. And then if I start incrementing, then the values start being incremented one by one, starting at the value 100 as expected. So these are the new APIs that we have available in Angular 17.2. These are going to make building uh, signal based components much easier. So let me know what you think in the comments below. If you could give me a like here to the Angular University YouTube channel and let me know what other content would you like to see next. Thank you so much everyone and I will see you next time. Cheers!